Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today we are taking a look at Spotlight Search in iOS 8. Now I know you may be wondering to yourself, well, what the heck is so special about Spotlight Search? But Apple has added a pretty cool feature here to Spotlight Search that allows for Spotlight to give you its own suggestions. So as you can see here, we have basically the same options in the settings, but at the top we have Spotlight Suggestions. And those are automated suggestions that Spotlight thinks may help you out when you're searching for something. So for example, I'm going to type in Dr. Dre, and as you can see at the top here, we have a Wikipedia result for Dr. Dre, along with some random related contacts for some reason, and some notes and reminders, basically the normal stuff that you'd find. But the cool thing here is this Wikipedia result, and there are several other ways that this can go or play out with Spotlight suggestions. So let's go ahead and try something else here real quick. We'll go back and we'll type in something like movies. Well, if I type in movies, we actually get a list of different places where I can see a movie and then we have our notes suggestions and stuff but at the top we have now playing movies listed here in order and you can check out the ratings and the titles and find a place to see the movie at right from spotlight search so it actually makes things a lot easier now I'm gonna type in music here and as you can see it suggested maybe I want an application that plays music like Spotify or different venues around town that actually have music playing at them so very cool things happening here with spotlight suggestions now let's go ahead and type in the word hang and as you can see I get an app store reference and a Wikipedia reference from spotlight suggestions but if I can continue typing maybe the word hangover well now we get a movies on iTunes suggestion and a Wikipedia suggestion for that specific movie so basically spotlight is going to recommend different things that are related to your search when using spotlight and then you can actually pull open iTunes and maybe you can buy the movie right there or if it's available to stream or different things like that so we have several suggestions that are pulling up here inside of spotlight search and it makes it very handy to me it makes it very helpful a lot better than it used to be in my opinion so you can basically search for anything on the web and you can access all that information right here within spotlight search so let me know what you think about spotlight suggestions down in the comments section below and if you enjoyed this video please feel free to leave it a thumbs up as it does help out the channel a lot also subscribe for more ios 8 videos in the future thanks again for watching everybody this is dom and have a great day